Hi guys, Paolo from Emotivi speaking. Today I have a review and unboxing of EK Quantum Velocity Water Block in acetal version. Without further ado, let's go for it. Okay, let's unbox this CPU block. That was a bit unfortunate, but whatever. First, you can see some mounting, very nice effect, some spare parts. Okay, what next? Yes, this is a acetal block, as you can see, fully new. I am quite curious how it will looks like from inside. Thermal compound. Always welcome, thank you Ike. And the mounting side for a motherboard for replacement. Okay, that's what was from the box. And now let's go directly for the block. So block is perfectly clear that's how it looks from other side please do not forget to remove it that's quite obvious RGB header it's fine so let's remove the sticker to see the screws oh that feeling perfect sticker is removed nice and shiny okay double check if the screw fits in, okay, it fits. These four screws will be easy, quick job. First one. Uh, if you unscrew everything, what is shiny, be very careful, it's very easy to uh, make a scratches on a surface and that's exactly what you don't want to see on your shiny parts and at last but not least it is a place where corrosion could start first okay yes it pops up it looks beautifully clean, beautiful CNC machining. A bit of dust here, but you can always clean it with uh, some alcohol. I'm a bit wondering why it is not clean on this part. Uh, yeah, you can see it here. I don't need to double check it why it's not shiny. And that's how the rest of the block looks like. You can easily take this and move it out if you really need to. For cleaning it's perfect option. This is the rubber o-ring, perfectly fitting. Am I able? Yes, I am. I hope. Yes, I'm able to remove it. Here you can see the RGB lights and this is the rest of the acetal block. Let's quickly put it back together. No more touching than it's needed. Perfect. Hmm. I hope that it is placed this way. Yes, okay. And put the screws back. 
Oh, I don't like it. One small touch and you see the fingerprints. Quite unfortunate, but nothing would you can't solve. Always reminder, never first screw one screw fully. Always screw them, all of them and fully screw them lately to prevent some unnecessary uh, movements during the screwing back to up because now I can a bit wiggle with this plate if necessary to place it to the most correct place I need to. Yes. This block is very easy to clean if necessary and the components fit one into each other in a perfect way. So good job EK, very good job. I like it a lot. Always take care, you are screwing something into the acetal, so it is not that hard to damage the acetal block if you will screw it too tight. Just enough. Okay. And because I opened the block, let's double check it with uh, the leaking test. Let's close one of the port, one of the inlets or outlet. Here it doesn't matter that much. Place the leak tester. Okay. As you can see. open and I hope that it is tight enough even with the hand so now we can check the pressure okay pressure is not turning up it means two things either I place it badly which can definitely happen. Okay, let's double check if I tighten up enough. So let's use this device. Okay. Okay, we have some issues, so no problem. I will do it off cam and I'll be right back. I am back and as you can see, uh, now the pressure test is fine. Uh, the reason of previous failure was because one of the back screws was not tighten enough and it leads to uh, the air leakage so always whenever you open your block do the leakage test because the chance that you will screw something not enough uh, is very high and with this bombshell thank you for watching have a nice day if you like this video please share it or give it a comment down below and have a great day. Bye.